Leonard. Moore reluctant to leave the ground. He wants Peter Moore, but he might mark this one. He does. Now, oh, he's fumbled again. Wearmouth, a long hand pass to the half forward flank. He's not good football, but made good football by an awkward bounce, which goes to Oborn. Oborn held a long time. Steady's for goal. Peter Moore and Kelvin Moore fly for Peter Moore. Won. He is simply too tall. Hicks been a quiet play, but a nice handball to Bond, but oh, he's kept right on that boundary line, taken by Worthington. Kicks the ball back to Moore at centre half back. Three players call for it. It'll be Valley to get it. He'll judge the bounce and run through the centre. A long kick down to full forward, but McCann's got the sit. But Dempsey's there as well. William out. Shoots. Goals. Morris got two hands to it. The umpire didn't play a mark. Burns first to recover towards right half forward. The non scoring pocket actually for North Melbourne. And Big Peter Moore has uh, got plenty of time to steady here in front of Blight. Goes straight back up the centre of the ground. The ball is up to that the full forward zone. Out comes Dempsey now. Will it bounce okay? Picked up nicely by Moore. Hooks it back. And a mark taken here by Billy Pickin, a little shorter centre half back. 15 metre penalty against Easton. I think almost intentional. Well, they left everyone else pick their players up down right. the field. The ball back over the centre half forward, but no one there for last quarter. And you can put down your glasses as far as uh, Collingwood are concerned because they're out of the picture completely. The ball goes down there, and a free right. kick will go to Moore. Collingwood uh, struggling now. North Melbourne putting up a brilliant performance in this last quarter. Every player coming to the fore, and of course, that's the sign of a real champion side. Rene half back in the busy. He's the best player on the ground just about last week. He's playing against Sutton. He's not a bad play, but not as good as uh, Knights, and he's been eclipsed by Sutton. It's time is back on the ground. Prodigious kick by Cyberton. Out towards Barker. Punched away by Moore. Down towards uh, Collingwood's Moore again. A handball across. He fires for goal. And there's Collingwood's 14. And it'll be going to their top ruckman and forward, Peter Moore. Moore with a fine punt kick. It'll go to Moore against side bottom, even though side bottom appeal for that one. St Kilda still look a little bit slow, Lou. We saw them against Essendon. They were slow in the second half, and they don't appear to have uh, improved on that performance so far. I think the Collingwood side may have grabbed them by uh, surprise at the moment. Andrew Ireland getting it up there. When a kick in front, knocked away by Breen. Now King's got it. He breaks his way through the pack, the incredible hole. Up it goes towards the full forward position. There's Davis has got the mark, I would say. Chance for his second goal because he's only about uh, 10 or 11 metres out, dead in front. And this is uh, Collingwood getting off to a great start. And as Peter Landy said before, just about a capacity crowd here today, around about the 30 to 35,000 mark. And this crowd in perfect condition. The shot by Davis is right through the middle. And Collingwood now goes three straight goals, 18 points to St Gildy. And we can't really judge the board because the opposition is not so strong today. Up it goes now. Moore gets a long knockout. Looking there for kick. He's got the drop on uh, Green at the moment. Now he's got the ball. Oh, he's lost it. He gave a hand pass over to Morris who fires for the goals. And there's another one coming up. Oh, golly, talk about the land to the slaughter. By golly, that uh, it looks like the abattoirs here. There's Saints lying all over the place. All we need now is some bullet which this game was over now even. Up it goes. Knocked out by Moore again. Over to Burn. They're back in business again. Up towards the full forward zone. And there's a mark to Davis. Oh, golly. He's going now for his uh, fourth goal. It's Stewart. I'm sorry. I thought it was Davis. He's going for his fourth goal. Who puts it matter? Whatever you say, he's going for their fourth goal. There it is coming up now again. And Collingwood go to 16 11, 107. The St Gilda 2 5 uh, uh, 17. And. Uh, have a go at it. He might as well. Okay, back to the centre now, waiting to see what happens. Up she goes. Knocked out by the big fellow again. He hasn't missed one this quarter. And there's Byrne and Collingwood race ahead again. They're standing still, St Kilda. Up it goes towards the full four. He's got the mark, Stewart, I'd say. I don't know about that. Yeah, he's paying it. Could have been a bit doubtful, but he's got the mark. And as I said before, when you're hot, you're hot. And when you're not, you're not. And that's certainly St Kilda. I'll tell you what, they're going to the... They're just about a freezing point at the moment. He's going for his fifth goal now. Uh, Stewart and Collingwood's 18. Kick. Through. There we go. 18 goals, 11. 196 have reached the score out at the moment. Be better. It's being a little bit harsh, but St Kilda are outclassed at the moment today. Oh, Moore, a 30 metre punch down to half full. Full of figures. This St Kilda, 3 10, 28. Back. By Morris. Morris gets it back over to Moore. 
Moore fires the ball up towards the full forward zone. Another chance from the Saints out of danger for the time being. Barker's kick up towards the centre wing position. Pickin has it on a string for the Magpies. He's gone for a pass over to Moore. And Peter Moore for a big fellow showing plenty of pace. Cleverly keeps it in play over to Wearmouth. And Gilda 28 and Collingwood have played though. They've played 26 minutes of this quarter. Up towards Moore. And we got this. He's got the mark. Here we go for the long kick. As I said before, 13 points to go to break the record. And there'd be about four minutes to go of this game, I would say. Might be a bit more too, Lou. Might be a little bit more because the uh, rate of scoring of Collingwood would certainly make the quarter a lot longer. Waiting now for the kick by Moore. It's well up there to the goal square. It's in the goal square. Ball pushed down. Grabbed here by Green. He's grabbed. Holding the ball. There's a chance to make the difference. Only seven points now. And the free kick to go to, uh, to Davis. And Davis has already kicked uh, five goals. Rene Kink has kicked six. And even the two backmen there, Worden can kick one, so did White from the half back line. So it's been all over the place. The shot. It's true. Go long. Terry Danaher. Good play, Arling. To Moore. Moore goes long out of defence. Over the mark. It doesn't matter. It comes off for Magro to Nagel. Valley. Moore, Byrne, inclined to take one step too many. Moore doing better against Keenan since they come in together. Byrne, tackled by Marsh, free kick to Byrne. Ray Byrne, the ex-Carlton player, coming for kick number six. In front, oh, Craig Davis almost took a good one. Bill Valley's got the chance for left foot snap for goal. Hooks it nicely and puts it through. Very confident player. That's his second. But still, the Bombers well in front. Collingwood 10-13 to Essendon 16-10. Scoreboard, Collingwood scoreboard, very slow. Not enjoying the score, I guess. 33 points to lead now for Essendon. Four. Behind the pack, it's a chance there. Well, nicely taken. Tackled Van der Haar. Moore's got the chance again. Tackled by Watson. Tackled again by Watson. Hand pass gets out to Worthington. Worthington to Tony Shaw. Across it goes. And to O'Bourne. Back to Tony Shaw. Down. It's not bad to get over a player who's six feet six or seven. Peter Moore, beautiful torpedo punt. Kink very high. And Davis at the back marks. Kick by Robertson, short of centre wing. Lee in front, Moore at the back. Moore, one, two, three grabs and a mark. Moore's kick to half forward. Kink with Klopp. Kink, oh, strong hands. It's his first decisive touch, though. Drives it towards the goal square. Derek. Moore's there at the half back line. Collingwood ready to go into attack now. This crowd have certainly got their money's worth. Oh, look at this kick by Moore. It's about 70 metres down there for Kink. He's got that. And comes on now to uh, get a run for the final few minutes. Moore knocks the ball well clear of the pack, taken away by uh, Banks, who gives it over towards Tony Shaw, who certainly has tried all day for Collingwood. Renee Kink takes the mark this time in front of Taylor at uh, left half four. He would have three goals for the Magpies. He got a bad knock in the eye in the second quarter. Looking for piss control. McCarthy gets his body in there. Byrne and McMahon. And finally, Collingwood out through White to Wearmouth. The handball upfield is a good one to Woolmo. Moore, look out, here come the troops. Caught by Higgins, but he breaks the tackle. Moore kicks for the goal square. Derek Shaw is there. There goes Fitzroy Harris towards Beecroft. And a good mark, no play on. Out to Austin for Collingwood, back into the centre. And there's bodies climbing all over the place. Moore with pace base of goal out of bounds on the full and a Collingwood free kick to Peter Moore 10 minutes gone last quarter Fitzroy 100 Collingwood 73 they handball out of defense Magro up to half back now to center wing and Davis has come out of the full forward Davis Dallas going for the mark couldn't hold that one Harris pounces on the ball he gets a hurried kick across there towards Common I got a good mark there to Ray Shaw, but he dropped a couple of easy ones for Collingwood in that third quarter, which were vital drops. And of course, Fitzroy broke away and got goals out of it. It's where you take the marks, it counts. Oh, 
this is dangerous across the goal, but lucky thing there, we see Big Ball there with the ball to take the mark. He's going to go for a big run, the big fella. He's got to kick it. What's he done with it? Put it out of mouth. Great defensive play by Worthington. He's white towards centre wing. Kink across to Wearmouth. And away go Collingwood. Wearmouth's got a paddock. And now he's got Anderson free. Anderson Moore in centre. Moore shoots for goal. And puts it through. Right through the centre. Out of yet. And we must remember this too. That Hawthorne will be out to make amends for their shocking performance on uh, last Saturday. So it's back to the centre. Peter Moore against Scott. Scott with the green gloves on. He goes straight for Moore. He's whacked him one. By golly, he's knocked him one. He's knocked him right in the face, right in the eye. And there was no doubt about that, and I think the umpires reported him. I'm not sure about that, Bob. Did you see if he reported him or not? Well, it's hard to tell with so many, so many uh, running around down there, but there's no doubt that it'll be a free kick. Oh, it, odds on reporting. Moore nodded his head when he uh, said something to him, so uh, it's a very interesting start. By golly, went straight at him. There's a chance now for Hawthorne to get the ball. The umpires found a free kick. It'll go down there to Bill Valley. Well, Hawthorne certainly mean business. And a chance for Collingwood's second goal coming up on the board. Let's see what's happened to Peter Moore. He seems to be OK. Collingwood players talk. Now, in his eye, I'm just seeing it looks as though it's been cut under the eye. Kick by Valley. Straight at the goals. That's another one. Two goals coming up for Collingwood in two minutes and 40 seconds. Well, there's no doubt about that. Well, I think if anything, Lou, that'll give that'll lift the Collingwood side. Well, we've played four minutes. We've already seen some fireworks. Don Scott running straight at Moore, and uh, there could be a little bit of doubt. Well, Peter doesn't think there's any doubt at all that he's been reported. The ball back into play again. There we see the ball going up to Moore, the two Moores. There'll be a free kick to Moore again at Collingwood. So he's on the receiving end at the moment. Idiocy, actually. Taking that free kick against uh, Terry Moore. It's and a 15-metre penalty against Don Scott again. So I think Don Scott would have to watch himself tonight because he could be the target for the umpires. The ball dropping short. Terry Moore. His kick, not a bad one distance-wise, up towards half-forward. Henry behind, and a nice mark taken by Andrew Ivan. Play on, says the umpire. Ivan does just that. Goes in towards the centre, and again, another mark taken out there by Peter Moore. And we've got our about a 15-metre uh, penalty for the evening. The umpire's very hot on this this evening. Moore from the centre. Not a bad kick either. Oh, well, Scott I and, sorry, Louis. I wouldn't like to see those two class, uh, Scott and Worthington. <laughs> be interesting, wouldn't it? They <laughs> bounce off each other. Ray Shaw, he had a fairly quiet first. Skilton said, at the start of this comedy, this is going to be a real ring-a-ding-ding -ding game. There's a bit of a clash there. The umpire's found a free kick to Moore. And uh, who said that night football wasn't fair, Dick? And by golly, you couldn't say that about this match that goes out there wide towards Bank. He's uh, 30, Collingwood in front, 17 and a half minutes gone. And it's knocked out by Moore, a chance for Collingwood's Banks to get clear. He's in a bit of trouble, he was grabbed, didn't have the ball, and a free kick to Banks. Take them along to four goals, eight, 32, Collingwood 6 3, 39. Ball back into play again, out there towards Peter Moore on his own. He's got the mark there at half back. Given a hand pass out now to Price, another hand pass coming over to Ireland. Island to the balk that time, it takes him to centre-half back, the boot up towards centre-half forward now. Flying high as Goss is in trouble, he's clear now as he boots the ball back over the centre-half back position and a mark there to Moore. Moore's got the ball there, he's out, actually out towards the wing, because he's gone for a short pass, it's OK, he finds Ronnie Weir now. Hawthorne looking a bit tired at the moment. Ball comes back up there, Austin got the city if he's good enough. Back out there on the wing position, boots it over the half-forward line. Moore flies, he's got the mark. Looking a bit good at the moment, Collingwood at the uh, seven minute mark, 10 7 67 to Hawthorne, 6 8. Yeah, right now, that one really had a vital goal. 77 play, uh, 73 plays 44. Hawthorne having kicked only three goals since the first quarter, and Collingwood going right on with the business to make it two in four days. Peter Moore, one of Collingwood's best tonight. Up towards the full forward zone. Bets again, it looks like, has dragged in another one. And he too must, must be in line for the Thorn 14 inch cover TV receiver from Canberra. Peter, he's had seven marks uh, since half time. That's not bad at night football, is it, Louis? No, it's pretty good. Centre, looking for Terry Moore. It's knocked away by Peter Moore. Not further forward for Hawthorne. Taken away by Peter Moore again. Tackled by Henry, but not soon enough. He's gone for a pass. Valley, Anderson. Another mark of bets, so that's mark number eight. 
It's a fair way from goal, though. Left half forward flank, about 72. I think it's Wilkinson who's taken the mark up towards the uh, wing position now. Oh, more from behind. That should be a mark, I think. Yep. No doubt about it. The two more is contesting with Peter Victorious on this occasion. And Terry Moore trotting off towards the goal square again. This guy got a nasty whack in the first quarter, but he's come good. That's a beautiful torpedo punt kick too. Austin looking for the uh, aspect is it. At the 18 and a half minute mark of the third quarter was the last time Hawthorne scored goal or point. There's Collingwood going forward line. Now it's Goss. Goss turns wide. What's he going to do with? He's going to boot it across towards the full forward zone. Oh, it's a mark to Peter Moore. That's about his seventh mark. He boots it out quickly. Collingwood not wasting time. He's looking out there for Warren. Warren's clear. He's not doing a bad job, this young fellow, for his football. Eventually it comes out towards Ray Shaw. He should have no trouble getting it in, but gets pushed in the back by Mamane. And naturally he'll get the free kick. OK, a free kick out there to Ray Shaw. I think he might have faked that a bit. I think he might have made sure the umpire's <laughs> <story was laughs> I think I reckon, yeah. <laughs> OK, at the uh, seven and a half minute mark, calling with 12-7, 79 to Hawthorne, 6 9, 45. Waiting on Ray Shaw to take this kick out there towards that half-back flank position. A very big crowd here tonight. Uh, the count before half time was 39,000. This would be a, easily a record for a night football game. Mark out there to Warren. Warren boots the ball back towards Moore. Uh, and he's got the mark. Well, he's played a great game too, but uh, no, he's breaking away from Terry Moore now. Goes for a pass down there looking for one of his teammates. They're